Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, or good night. How are you guys doing today? All right, today we are getting back at it. We're on the ship. We're on the ship to the South Pole. Are they going to make it? All right, chapter 13, here we go. When the ship's horn blew, it felt as though the deep sound went inside Flora and rattled around. Two more blasts came after the first. As soon as the last blast died away, Flora became aware of a low rumble. The ship's engines were running. A slow side-to-side -side rocking motion started up and sent a thrill through Flora from the tip of her snout down to the end of her tail, despite her awful quarters. They were underway. She looked around at all the supplies piled against the walls of the ship. Surrounding her was a wide space, a clear walking path to the stairs, and another path through the boxes and barrels. Close by was a food bowl. Flora sniffed it, spaghetti with tomato sauce and rinds of squash. Not bad, but she'd rather explore her new environment. Unfortunately, Flora couldn't get farther than a few steps before she stopped short. She walked a few more paces in the other direction until her chain pulled tight. But this time, she strained against it, and the chain gave. Behind her, she heard the box she was clipped to grind against the floor. She sat down. This could get tiring. But wait, that was the point. It was supposed to be hard work. Flora had some catching up to do. Stuck in her pen back home, she hadn't trained nearly as much as the farm dogs. Flora pulled at her chain again and heard a satisfying growl from the box scraping over the rough wooden decking. Her leather collar dug into her neck. Good. Sled pulling wasn't supposed to be comfortable. Too bad no one was down here to cheer her on and make sure her technique was right. Instead, a smell wrinkled her nose. It was not a good smell. She tried to shut it out. She focused on the window and the door at the top of the stairs on the small bit of light and strained again. Don't give up. Step, pull, step, step, stop. As soon as Flora sat down, she heard that strange rustling again. Anybody there? She asked another rustle, or maybe it was more like scratching, came from behind a box. So did more of that bad smell. Flora shivered. But this was no time to be afraid like little Alfred. She dr dragged her box until she could peer into a dark space between cargoes. The floor almost seemed to be moving, as if it were alive. Flora looked longingly at the stairs. And when she turned back, yikes! She hopped backwards. A big, greasy rat with long, wiry whiskers and a bald patch between his ears had stepped out from behind a box and was sniffing in Flora's direction. Flora tried to be brave. She tried to remember her rat hunting moves, but suddenly attacking a crumpled paper bag or a dried orange peel didn't seem like enough training. As she watched him creep closer, she worked hard to stop shaking so her chain wouldn't rattle. Then he stood on his hind legs and opened his mouth, showing off his impressive, sharp, yellow teeth. He snapped his mouth shut. Then he oozed in the direction of her food bowl. Flora scrambled as far as possible and sank to her stomach. She could see him slip over the bull's edge and paddle around while searching out the best morsels. Evidently, he did not care that his fur was becoming soggy with tomato sauce or that this was not his food. In a moment, he was joined by two mean-looking buddies. Chewing and slurping were the only sounds. Flora imagined an ocean of rats watching from the shadows. She hid her face between her hooves. Once the food in Flora's bowl had been eaten, the rats disappeared. That was good! The light at the top of the stairs was dimming. Night was coming. The rustling in the darkness seemed even louder. Flora shivered at the thought of having to listen to rats all night long. The ship was bucking and pounding along. She could feel the boards underneath her shudder. She needed to think about something cheerful. Hike! 
she whispered to herself and brought the pictures to mind. The snow was a glittering blanket across the folds of white raced Flora the sled pig. She was galloping beside a frozen lake with a team of a dozen sled dogs. Oscar was in front. At the end of the line was the sled, brightly painted in a festive blue with white stars for decoration. Onward, called Oscar. Onward, Flora echoed. We're tough, we're brave, and we're a little bit crazy. She leaped and twisted in the air in a crazy little dance before speeding on. Even if sleep didn't come, Flora's mind was in a far better place. Hike, she murmured again and again. All right, that's the end of chapter 13. We will see you next time for chapter 14. Bye.